All right, where do we go next? I know. Don't do go to all fours yet. How much time do we have left? Yeah, we have we have plenty of time left. So I guess the whole. Like we made it here in one piece. I guess the thing about this round is that like they rise up and but uh, they did get rid of the runners or at least they pushed them the runners back, but they also destroyed their own home like al alongside it. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? All right, so it's not around here. Cool. Where am I going? <laughs> yeah, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Red rose croissant. <laughs> I guess I can give that to uh to you know who to uh. I guess I can give that to. To uh, Dohalin. Devil Tail. Yeah, you can match um with uh, Kasara. Sure, why not? I like this stuff better. Use that one. I think this is gonna be locked? Yeah. Alright. It's gonna be like, this is gonna be one of those ones of uh, the price of freedom. Like, what do you, what are we going to do to get freedom? What are those out in the valley? Windmills? They're huge. They're oh. likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff here. Arts? My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin? The wielder of the blazing sword? Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? No need. I believe you. I'm Bayfong of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the Lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Are you the Danon leader here in Niez? Nah, I'm just one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. <sighs> you do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadeye. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. Not going to happen. 
I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. Yeah, I'm not leaving two of my healers. Behind, you know. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, yes. I'm not leaving both of my healers out here in the I middle of nowhere. After you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. Can't get in here, huh? Alright. Fatch hall point activated. Nice. Hey, what about Yang's here's um, aerial plaza leads to the um Ottoman Al Almadri's castle? I don't know. But for now it's sealed up, so I'll ask you to turn away. Alright. What's this? Chicken? These are headquarters of Dark Wings right now. These are temporary accommodations. Um, at some point, I imagine we'll build something better and move into that. Why don't you just move into the castle? So you're Elfin, are you? Thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me. Did your parents teach you any manners? Who are you? So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out the lord was worth the sacrifice. And the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. Shran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the blazing sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then... mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. <gasps> friends? Renants are Renants. The scum sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you.
told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bathon? Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Xion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renans. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. All right. Do. I think I'll swap you back to... No, hold on. Oh yeah, I'll do the copper one for a little bit. And uh, the weapon skin, I give me the Sinclair sword. Yeah, this the sword, the sword that I'm wearing now just isn't really that good. Good looking. Yeah, give me that one. Hunting rifle and a sword. Yeah, alright. Do you have anything other than a silver wolf vest? No, you don't. You have the wing on it. Alright. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I get the feeling Dead I've signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a rooster rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Mies, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Elfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is, when you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. Uh. I just don't know, man. Don't know what? 
Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Ward? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful. And because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it'd been Zephyr instead of Deadeim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Dead Eye Men like Dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. More! Alright. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danons with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohli. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves, and outright forbade the ownership of instruments, is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have two quests we can do, so let's get to it. What's up, dude? 